Hi friends, welcome back. Today we have a full harvest moon. And so I thought it might be kind of fun to do moon salutations. So a lot of yogis typically know what sun salutations are. Sun salutations move forward and backward. They bring energy and heat to the body. And so they're pretty commonly practiced. Moon salutations are a little less commonly practiced. We move from side to side, they're more cooling and quieting, and they're really useful for calming the mind and drawing your uh, focus inward. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. You can do this at any point during the lunar cycle. It doesn't have to be on a full moon, but it's not quite as commonly done. And so I thought it would be fun to teach you guys something that maybe you haven't learned before. So this isn't a like completely traditional moon flow. It's pretty close but I have put my own little spin on it. So just take that with a grain of salt if you are using this as a reference to teach moon flows yourself. That being said, let's go ahead and get into it. You can pop yourself up on a block if you like. You don't need a block for this flow, but if you would like one, you can pop yourself up on a block and then come to a comfortable seated position. You can just place the hands down on the knees and then close off the eyes. Let's take just a moment here to center and ground ourselves. Focus on the breath. Notice where it is flowing, its rhythm and depth. And then see if you can move that breath down into the belly. Bring your awareness to each and every point of you that is connected to your block or to the mat and draw that energy down toward the earth. Awesome, go ahead and blink, open the eyes. Inhale, arms up to center. Exhale, stretch over to the right, bring the gaze up. Inhale, straight up through center, let's stretch over to the left. We'll bring some fluidity into this movement as we go back to the right. One more time over to the left. Bring hands back up through center, hands down to heart center. Inhale, open up to cactus. Exhale, bring the arms forward like you're hugging a giant teddy bear. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, open to cactus. Exhale, again, round the spine, hug that teddy bear. Last time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down through center. Inhale, open the cactus. Exhale, around the spine. Awesome. And go ahead and spread through the feet to open to a straddle position. Again, if you're on a block, you can stay on the block. If you're not on the block, you don't need one. It's totally okay. Inhale here. As you exhale, stretch over to the right. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, stretch to the left. Inhale, bring both hands up to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Right hand comes behind you as a kickstand, left hand to the outside of the right thigh. Take a moment here. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Again, we'll take an extra breath here. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, hands down through heart center. If you are sitting on a block, go ahead and remove that block out from under you and then fold your left foot in. So you're in half straddle, half easy pose. Place your left hand behind you. Inhale, sweep your right arm above and stretch back. Exhale, come down, switch legs. We're extending left leg out long, right hand comes behind you. Inhale, sweep left arm overhead, stretch back. Exhale, place your bum down on the ground. Okay, split the legs around, tuck under the toes, spread through those fingers, press down through the knuckle ridges, draw that bottom up for a first downward facing dog. Take a moment to pedal through the feet, really lengthen through the spine. Both hands and feet should be about shoulder hip width apart. <sighs> Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, walk your feet forward to the hands. 
Place them about hip width apart. You take a nice deep bend in the knees. Grab hold of opposite elbows. Hang here and ragdoll for a moment. Take the opportunity to check in. Say, how am I feeling? <laughs> All right, and then on an inhale, go ahead and peel the body up, bone by bone. Head and neck come last. Awesome. Okay. This is where we're going to get into the moon salutations. I hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs> Inhale, reach arms up to the sky. Go ahead and make Kali Mudra with your hands. It's kind of like little Charlie's Angels gun. Inhale here. As you exhale, stretch over to the right. Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, stretch over to the left. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, step back into a warrior two position. So your back foot parallel with the back edge of the mat. Front toes are still pointing toward the front of your mat. Arms are extended. Inhale here. Exhale, come into a side angle. So you can either place your elbow here and stay lifted in, this, in both sides of your body. Or if you'd like, you can come down to fingertips or you can be up on a block. Any of those is fine. Inhale, come up for reverse warrior. Inhale, straighten the leg, come back up. And as you exhale, draw forward and then turn for triangle. Gaze is up toward the sky. Take an extra breath here. Inhale, and then as you exhale, we're going to turn, angle your back foot about 45 degrees instead of parallel to the back edge of the mat for pyramid pose. Make sure you are not hyperextending your knee in any of these positions. Engage your quad. Lift your kneecap to protect those joints. If you want, you can be up on blocks here. It's a really great place to be. Although I would place them at both, heads, um, both sides of your mat. It's going to be going back and forth. All right, from here, bend that front knee. You can place your back leg down. If you want, you can tuck under the toes to protect your knees, or you can have the toes untucked either way, coming into a low lunge. You can extend arms up overhead to open and get a tiny baby back bend, but only do this back bend if you can focus on keeping your core engaged through it. Awesome. Place hands down on either side of your foot, tuck under those toes, and then twist so that both your front foot is out about 45 degrees, and then you're flexing your left foot. If you're up on the toes like this, that's fine. Just have to work with balance a little more. You bring hands to heart center, gaze up, or you can place hands down on the mat. Again, engage that quad. Don't hyperextend your knee. Go ahead and move over to the opposite side. Try to stay low. So we're bending on the left side, straighten through the right. Again, extend here for Skandasana on the left side. Almost once we get through the first one of these, we'll be able to move a little bit easier. Go ahead and twist so that you are in a low lunge. Now with right knee down, left knee bent. And there's that option to stay here. Or if you'd like, you can come into that little baby back bend. Go ahead and place those hands down. Bring that back foot about 45 degrees. Straighten that front leg for pyramid pose. Again, blocks are a really great place to be, especially on this first round, because <laughs> we're not quite warm yet. But as I said, moon salutations are meant to be a little bit more cooling than they are heat building. So please feel free to use props. All right, go ahead and angle your back foot so it's parallel with the back edge of the mat. And let's turn to uh, bring the gaze up toward the sky so that we are in triangle now. You don't place any pressure here. We're just gently resting it, or you can be on a block. All right, bend that front knee. Come back for a reverse warrior. Inhale. Over for side angle. Again, option to be up here as so long as you stay lifted, or you can be down at fingertips. Either way, make sure you're extending through both sides of your body. And on an inhale, come up for warrior two. And come to stand. 
Bring hands back to the center for Kelly Mudra. Exhale, stretch to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, stretch to the left. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, hands down through heart center. So hopefully you have a little bit of a better idea where we're headed now. We're gonna go back the other direction. So inhale, arms up, Kali Mudra. Exhale, stretch to the right. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, stretch to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, step back into warrior two. Again, check your knee that it's stacked over your ankle. Inhale, come into your side angle. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, come forward and turn for your triangle. Take an extra breath here. Inhale, and as you exhale, go ahead and rotate, angle your back foot, come into pyramid. Inhale, come down to your low lunge. Exhale, go ahead and turn for Skandasana. Again, engage those quads. Go ahead and move over to the other side. Can inhale here. Exhale, turn for your low lunge on this side. Exhale, go ahead and angle that back foot 45 degrees. Come into your pyramid pose. So both legs are straight here. Go ahead and angle that back foot so it's parallel with the back edge of the mat. Then open up to the sky for your triangle pose. Inhale. Come up to a reverse warrior. Exhale. Side angle. Inhale. Warrior two, exhale, come to stand. Take an extra inhale here. Exhale, stretch to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, stretch to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands down through heart center. So we'll do this one more time, each direction, and then we'll move on. <laughs> inhale, bring arms up. Exhale, stretch to the right. Inhale to lift. Exhale, open up through that right side body. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, step back to your warrior two. Inhale, side angle. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, come into triangle. Inhale, come to your pyramid. Exhale, come down for your low lunge. Inhale, I think I might be a little off with my inhales and exhales today. I apologize. <laughs> Skandasana. Stay low as you come across the mat to the other side. And go ahead and twist to that low lunge. Inhale, come up to pyramid pose. Exhale, open to triangle. Inhale, come into reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, to warrior two. Exhale, come to stand. Take an extra inhale here. Exhale, to the right. Inhale to center, exhale to left. Inhale to center, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, sorry, side angle. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, come to pyramid. 
Exhale, low lunge. Inhale to Skandasana. Come through center. Inhale here. Exhale to low lunge. Inhale, come to pyramid. Exhale, open a triangle. Make sure you're adjusting your back foot for each of these postures. Inhale, come to reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, come to warrior two. Exhale, time to stand. Take one extra breath in. Exhale, stretch to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Good job. I apologize. I know it was a lot of breathing cueing. However, I feel like when it's a less familiar salutation, <laughs> it's good to get that down really well. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, plant your hands. Let's step back to our high plank. And then just come straight back into a downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Center yourself. Connect with how you're feeling. I hope you're mellowing out a little bit. <laughs> All right, inhale, go ahead and lift right leg up. Exhale, plant that foot between your hands. We're gonna rotate for Skandasana one more time. Hold here, engage that quad. Hopefully you're not hating Skandasana at this point. <laughs> if you are, I apologize. We're opening through your hips really well today. Inhale here, and as you exhale, let's rotate around that front foot so that we're coming into a side stretch. You can bring a chin mudra, so you bring your uh, forefinger and your thumb together. Stretch it out this way. So we're getting some really great stretches through the glutes on your right leg and through your abductors on your left leg. Come back around for Skandasana. All right, and then place your hands down. Let's come to a wide leg forward fold. So make sure all of your toes are pointed toward the wide edge of your mat. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Keep your spine nice and long. Don't want to be putting that stretch into your low spine. Want it to be in the backs of your legs. And go ahead and heel toe your feet in. A little wider than your shoulders. Angle them both out about 45 degrees and come down for Malasana. Yogic squat. Really are opening through the hips on this one. <laughs> See if you can stay lifted in this position. If you're up on your toes, again, that's okay. You're just working with balance and that's fine. You can place your hands down on the mat if that's easier, or you can use your elbows to press out and open through the hips a little bit more. Just make sure you're focusing on staying lifted and keeping your spine nice and long. All right, go ahead and place your hands down on the mat. Heel toe your legs back out. And let's fold one more time. All right, go ahead and heel toe your feet in just a little bit, not too far. Angle them both out about 45 degrees and then come into a goddess position. So knees should be stacked over the ankles. Roll the shoulder blades down the back. We don't want to be hunching over, okay? Inhale, exhale, stretch to the right, stretch to the left. Inhale, go to both sides. One more time on each side. Straighten up, forward fold. Now this flow is a little bit more fluid than my typical <laughs> contribution on this channel. But hopefully that's a good deviation for you from the norm. All right, go ahead and angle your feet out about 45 degrees again. Let's come to Skandasana on the left side. Engage your right quad, 
Don't hyperextend. All right, now let's pivot around that left foot. Stretch on this side. And you can bring chin mudra. Really extend. Open up through that right side of your body. Okay, let's twist around one more time. Back to Skandasana. Whoop. <laughs> if you're losing your balance, that's okay. Me too, apparently. All right, go ahead and place your hands down on either side of your left foot. Step back into a high plank. Drop the knees down. Come into a narrow leg child's pose. So knees are together, feet are together. And place the forehead down on the mat. So you can either keep arms in front of you or if you'd like, you can bring them down behind you. Yogi's choice. All right, go ahead and peel the body all the way up. Have the neck come last. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and flip around onto our backs. We did a lot of hip openings today, so we want to try to counter that a little bit. So cross your right knee over your left, flex both of your ankles, grab hold of your shins, and draw those legs toward you. And kind of like a supine shoelace. Nice deep breaths. Let's go ahead and switch. So cross left knee over right. Again, keep both those ankles flexed. Protect those knee joints. Draw those legs toward you. I'm trying to do a little less lip service in this one because. Again, one of the best benefits of moon flows is the quieting it can bring to your mind if you allow it to. Just try to let go of anything that might be tugging at you in your mind or physically. Go ahead and release that. Bring both knees into center. Draw arms out to a T. Drop both legs over to the left. If you want, you can place that left hand to get just a little bit deeper. Just make sure both your shoulder blades are plugged down into the mat. Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, drop both legs over to the right. Come back up to center. And then you can make your way into whichever variation of Shavasana sounds good to you today. Oh, and then close off the eyes. Now in your Shavasana, I want you to just allow any stresses you have to just melt away. It's like they're dripping off you and just moving away from you on the floor. Nothing should matter to you right now, except for taking this moment to rest and take care of yourself. Problems will still be waiting there when they need to be addressed. They don't need to be addressed right this moment. Let them go. And then again, bring your awareness to your breath. Note any difference that there might be between the beginning of the flow and the end of the flow. If the breathing is still up in the chest, see if you can move it down back into that low abdomen. Go ahead and begin to make some subtle movements with the fingers and the toes. Bring the soles of the feet to the mat if you were in the traditional Shavasana. And as soon as you feel ready, go ahead and roll to whichever side feels comfortable to you today. 
Make your way up into a seated position, eyes remaining closed. Center yourself. Bring hands to heart center. Blink open the eyes. Namaste. Thanks so much for flying with me today. I hope that this was a new experience for you. If it was your first time doing moon flows, please make sure you comment below. Let me know how it went for you. If it was not your first time, let me know what you thought of it. And I will see you again on Monday with Asana tips and tricks. Have a slow day.